Do 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 do. Magic for normies. What's up, everybody? I forgot to unmute my mic, but <laughs> I got it before I started talking. Hi, hi, Baltan. Thank you for hi, the Baltan. sub. Seventeen months. You're 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 a wild man. Why would you, you are. do that? And look, I've got a I got a visitor. Got a visitor. She's, she's just watching. She's she's watching. She's waiting. Um, my internet is a little spotty tonight, so that sucks. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I, I've heard about some major outages going on right now. Like, who's your provider? AT and T. Oh, I wonder if something's going on with AT and T. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, they there's there's been AT and T trucks out here like all week working on stuff. So that's probably what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Probably. Okay. That makes sense. Um, but like, there's a lot of construction going on in my neighborhood. They're still building houses here, so I assume that's that's part of it. That's why. So that does not sound fun. Is it yeah. loud during the day? Um, it's not as loud right now as it used to be because like all of the all of the spots right around me are finished, but they're like doing yeah. a couple streets over is where they're working. So it's actually way better than it was before. But yeah, I was, uh, Bal Balton has the same thing that I was just about to say. Ew, you're about to have neighbors. Like if all the houses <laughs> are built. There's already, there, it's already neighbors. It's Do they late. suck or are they good? Um, We only have a neighbor on one side. Like the other side of our house is common space. Yeah. So we only have a neighbor on one side and actually she's actually really cool. And she Okay, cool. Um she'll like say hi and stuff if we see her outside, but she's not one of those like super chatty, like, oh, I need to talk to you type person. So I'm she's bring my casserole real. over. Right? Yeah. She's really chill. <laughs> she's really chill. I really like her, actually. She's a good That's neighbor. That's good. Yeah. That's a perfect kind of neighbor. The one that so you great. know you can go talk. Like if if you needed something, right? You know, yeah, like, sure, but it, like it wouldn't be like prolonged, yeah. awkward, that sort of thing. Um, so not like an Agnes, yes, that is no. correct. Not, yeah. not an Agnes. By the way, I did finish WandaVision. I'm not going to say anything because we do not spoil on the show, but we I am going to say I finished it. Did you like it? Um, I, I personally did like it. So, you know, if you're into the Marvel series, I would suggest, yes, you should watch it because it just continues on with the Marvel series. Um, so, yeah, but we're, we're not going to talk about WandaVision. Why not? Um, it, it's it's be, magic for Marvel Mar or Marvel for normies. <laughs> magic for Marvel. Oh, no. Magic for Marvel. Marvel for normies. Okay, no, this isn't Marvel for normies. I'm not that into... I'm not that into Marvel. I'm not wow. saying there's anything wrong with that. I've just never, like, been deeply invested in it myself. Okay. So, we're not going to talk about it. Um, so, I, you know what? I am going to talk about right now, before we even get started in our show, I just finished watching a television series um Hannibal have you ever watched it no I've only ever seen Silence of the Lambs okay if you if you like the movies I would recommend watching the show because I personally thought the show was better than the movies so I, isn't it a prequel show or something no or? it's not it's or, or not a prequel is it anything to do with the movies it it is the movies made into a show oh okay okay so i would argue that it is better than the movies because i mean if you think about you know a book that you've read that was turned mm -hmm. into a movie you're always like oh this was left out this was yeah. missing but you know they had to condense it whatever so you think about a book because um hannibal is actually a book series so yeah. you think about hannibal being turned into a movie and they did their best. You know, the movies are fine. They're good. But mm -hmm. making it into a television series is even better because you have more time to spread things out, yeah. build storylines, that more sort of thing. More characterization, yeah. Exactly. So okay. I like that. 
Pixie into Hannibal is not what I expected, but cool stuff. I have to tell you, like, I'm going to say I love Hannibal's, like, fancy, like, I'm a fancy man and I cook these fancy dinners. I do not like that he cooks people. Sorry, this is a spoiler. I do not like that he what? cooks people. Um, right? But, like, he's cool because he's, like, fancy and he likes fancy music and stuff, right? So, I don't know. I liked it, personally. Oh, uh, wh where did you watch it on? Uh, I watched it on Netflix. It was on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. I've been, I've been looking for a new series because I, what was it, yesterday or the day before I finished Curb Your Enthusiasm? <gasps> Curb Your Enthusiasm is so good. Oh my god, I, I want to watch it over again. It's <laughs> already it's the funniest. It is just, it's just so good. Um, you know what I would recommend more than Hannibal for you personally, Zuby, would be Lucifer. Have you watched that? I saw the first few episodes and I couldn't get into it. I did not really? like it. I felt like yeah. it was very supernatural ish. Yeah, that that's what I was kind of hoping for but it just seemed i don't know cheesy and like lucifer just seduces people all the time and i mean i guess if you only watched a couple episodes you didn't really get into much of it maybe i'll give it another shot or something i, don't I know. think you should i really liked it we we finished maybe, the maybe whole it gets thing. better yeah maybe it gets better after the first couple of because the first couple of it seemed, seemed really cheesy like oh yeah this is I just didn't feel like it was any more cheesy than Supernatural is cheesy. Are, excuse me, all right? I love Supernatural. I'm not saying it I in a bad way. I love it, too. I love it. I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, Baltan Castiel says forever. that Lucifer gets more interesting over time. I just So, I, so maybe, maybe I'll give it another shot. You should. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but, you know. Yeah. It was good. It was entertaining. Not as good as Supernatural, because Supernatural is the best. I, I did like Supernatural. Dean yeah. and Sam forever. Dean and Sam forever. Yes. You finished the show, I right? I did. I did finish it. I did. I loved I loved that last episode. I thought We're it was not funny. gonna talk about it, Zuby. We don't talk about spoilers on this channel. It's been out for almost a year now. I just finished it like a few months ago. So maybe so other people are just finishing it. Well, you know what? Then that's like saying we can't talk about, you know, the the spoiler in episode five in Star Wars, right? How What's Darth episode Vader episode five? Empire Strikes Back. That came out like forty years ago. Yeah, that's it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. <laughs> A year, 40 years, what's the difference? It's a huge difference. Okay, listen, I want to tell you, I have never seen the older Star Wars movies. Um, You know, the ones that came out in like the 2000s? Yeah, the prequels. So I watched them, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, over the last few months. I really didn't like any of them. None of okay. them. I hated them. I'm going to be honest. I hated them. Every second, I hated it. Well, well which ones? Like every single Star Wars movie? Yeah, or? one, two, and three. Hated them. Oh, I mean, I mean, that's how a lot of people feel. I mean, okay. I would have to, I would have to disagree with. I, I, I think episode three is the best out of the bunch. Well, I mean, I, no, I'm sorry, I can't agree. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I didn't like them at all. What, what, what about the others? Like four, five, so and six. So and... I think I've seen four and five, and maybe six. I don't know. And you never saw the newer ones too? No, I, I've seen nine. the newest ones. The newest ones with Ray, I love. I really like them. So, mm -hmm. uh, Efren is right. The love story is so bad. I really hate the old love story. Wait, three is the worst. The love story is so bad. Whatever, Efren. No, I just feel like she didn't like him, but he just kept pursuing her, and she was like, okay, I give in. And I just, I really hated it. I didn't like it at all. Oh, I, I see what you mean by that. Yeah. It, it's, I still feel, at out of those three, the three was the best one. And it had the, it had one of my favorite fight sequences of just the Obi-Wan versus Anakin. Just, I love that fight scene. So, spoilers, everybody. So, you mean the part where Anakin, like, just gets chopped into pieces and he's just, yeah. like, has no limbs left? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I did not like that. I just was like, what? This is messed up. No, like, no wonder he turned into Darth Vader, right? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, like, he, he's basically, like, half robot by that point. Okay. I mean, okay. So um, fucking passionate. Uh, okay, well, you know, we, we could get into fight about the Disney sequels because, well, I thought Episode 7 was a good start to it. Episode 8 completely fucked the story. And Episode 9 was just such a bad rush job to try I to liked, finish it. I liked all of the new movies. Like, I really loved them. And I really loved 9. I loved it. Like, I cry every time I watch it. I really love it. Well, it I'm, means a lot to me. Like, it, it I'm, I'm means a like lot it. to me, honestly. Like, <laughs> it just does. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious or I not, am. But... I am being completely legitimate right now. And it really upsets me when people say it's bad. Like, it really does. Because I think it's so good. I didn't watch the old movies. I've only watched the new movies. And I think they were so good. And the characters are really important to me. And Rey is really important to me. And I think her character is amazing. And it really means a lot to me that in a fantasy series with as big a fandom as Star Wars has, they made a woman the the main character. And it means so much to me. All three of those movies, like her story is really important to me personally. And I love no, them. No, and, and I'm not, I'm not discounting that. Um, I think Ray was one of my favorite parts. The part that I thought got really screwed over or the one character that got screwed over the most, especially after episode seven was Finn. Finn got so screwed big time because they teased it that he was going to become like a Jedi too. I, and I uh, totally agree with you there. I totally they, agree with they you They made there. him just a piece I, of shit. I don't know what happened with that. Yeah, that, that was, that was really disappointing. Like I totally because agree with you there. As much as I don't like episode eight, my favorite parts of episode eight were the Ray, Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker parts. Yeah. And, and same with episode nine, as much as I felt it was a rush job, still my favorite parts had anything to do with Ray and Kylo Ren. Everything else outside of that mm -hmm. just felt like they didn't know what to do. Yeah. And so they just sort of made up shit. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know because I'm not, I'm not in a bigger part of the fandom and I wasn't yeah. into the older movies. So I just don't really have that history with it. But I liked the new movies for what they were, for sure. Yeah, I thought they were good. Yeah. Um, like, like it, it's definitely more polished than the prequels, episode one, two, and three. But it was, I don't know, there's just so, so many things that, like, could have been better, in a sense. With yeah. It. Um, so, hey, this is Star Wars for normies. Yes, that everyone. is Everyone, right. what's up? Well, well you know, Star Wars is coming to Magic the Gathering probably at some point. The I mean, universe is beyond. Yeah, could, maybe so. That would be pretty cool. Rogue One was also incredible. I agree with that. I really liked Rogue One. Oh, yeah. Rogue One was, it was good. so good. Yeah. I, I, I want a movie just about my boy Donnie Yen in that movie. Uh, he played the blind guy. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was a great character. Yeah. I am one with the Force and the Force is with me. I yes. Think like that. And yeah. of course, The Mandalorian. We love The Mandalorian. It was very good. We love Baby Yoda. Nice. Yes, he's he's precious. Um, so I guess we should talk about magic. So I guess. What's up? What's what's up? This is Magic for Normies. Hey everybody, welcome yo, to yo, Magic yo, yo, for yo, yo, Normies. Yo. So, do you have anything new going on? I, I really don't. No, I really don't have anything. Been, I mean, just the same old, same old for me lately. What about you? What's up with you? I've got. I've, I'm working on a a really fun little magic project right now. Oh. And I cannot wait to write about it for cards oh. here. Okay. Um, I am working on two different cubes, and they are D and D related cubes. So one D cube. Wait, D and D cubes? Yes. Okay. So what I'm making two different cubes, and one is a D and D cube for players, okay. and another cube is one for monsters, and they're going to be meant to be played against each other or played by themselves. Oh. 
Oh, so, cool. So the player's cube is going to be, ha it's going to do its best to try to represent all, what, nine classes that you can be in D&D. &D. Nice. Um, and then the monster's cube will be like all the classic D and D monster tropes, like zombies, dragons, giants, stuff okay. like that. Okay, that sounds really intriguing. And I want to write about it because it's going to be fun. And then Heck when yeah. we have no then when we have NormieCon, we can play it. NormieCon. It's um, going to happen. Yes, yes, hell yes, NormieCon. Uh, we don't have any date set yet, but. No, but Just, you can uh, pay us today, and you'll get a reserved yes. ticket. Uh, you, you want the VIP package of five hundred dollars? Oh, a person. What yeah. does that include? A getting to meet us. That's it for like five minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, and, and you'll you'll get a you'll get a signed uh, piece of paper, not even oh. a card. Um, wow. I don't think I can charge anybody money for that, honestly. Well, you, you can pay $5 and be able to play a EDH with us all day, and you'll get signed cards. Actually, oh. no, we're, we're not going to charge anything. No, no. We'll play EDH with you just because we love EDH. Yes. Yes. And Cube, and we'll play Cube. I've never played Cube, but, well, I, I played your Arena Cube one time. Yeah. I've never played a paper cube, but I think that would be so S -s fun. S same same idea. It's just like drafting. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love drafting. I think that sounds I know. great. That's like our favorite formats, isn't it? Draft and EDH. Yes, it is. It's it's my favorite. Those are my favorite formats for sure. Hell yeah. NormieCon has the potential to be an all-encompassing pop culture celebration. Oh, my God. We... we um. Yes. We, we, Oh, okay, so, all right. Um, all rights reserved for Pixie and Zuby starting now. All right, NormieCon will be, like, the next starting PAX now. East. PAX East, you know, the yeah. Penny Arcade and all that stuff. All right, so so we're going to we're gonna brainstorm this NormieCon. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, like, have NormieCon South, NormieCon East, NormieCon West, North. And so we're traveling across the nation? Well, it, to start off with, but when we become, oh. like, you know, big enough, we'll be like, Shh, let them travel. And when we make our special appearances, there'll be the red carpet for us. Right. And we'll just wave to the beach. And everyone will just be like, ah! <laughs> it's Pixie and Sube! Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking All right. Trademark to this. ends now. Okay. There we go. Yeah. That was it. Totally legit. Yes, um, totally legit. Yes. So, oh, um, one other piece of news is yes? we found a contractor for the house. That's a great piece of news. That's wonderful. Yes, thank God. Um, and we signed the contract. I think Monday or Tuesday. Okay. And then just how my wife long and I, is this supposed to take? I don't know yet. Okay. Okay. Be because because the. Once we sign the contract, then we have to get with, like, a project manager type person. Mm -hmm. And we have to make, like, five million decisions on, you know, tile, color. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, the, the, whatever the fuck, the, the crown molding shit. I don't, Everything. I don't know. Oh, every, every little, little detail. Little, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Every little detail that you never think of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you just like take all these things for granted, and you're like, "Oh wait, somebody has to make a decision about that." Oh, <laughs> right. okay, I guess it's me. Yeah, um, but that's good because that just means things are going into motion, and there's going to be an end to it. Yes, eventually. Yes. So that's good. Very good. It's about it for me in terms of news. Okay. And all that. Okay. Um, well, I don't have any news. <laughs> so let's um, get into our topics. What? I I'm sorry. I'm going to ask real quick. Is my video and audio coming out okay right now? I hear you. Okay. D does chat hear me okay? And I only ask that because my Twitch keeps freezing a lot right now. And I, I don't know if it's my, my inter internet. Or... I think it's my internet. Honestly, like I'm just, okay. I don't know what's up. But my internet is like not great. 
Hold on, we're gonna take a quick break. Okay, here we go, here we go. Zuby, Zuby, are you there? No, no, I'm not. Hello, hello, Can hello. You? Okay, I think we're back, I think we're back. Okay. I'm so You're... sorry, I don't know what's happening, everybody, thank you. at and is being dumb, that's what's happening. Yeah, something's happening, I don't know. Oh, that's... hey, you know, before we get into topics, I just remembered something else. Yeah. You know what's coming up soon? What? Oh, baseball season starting in a in a two weeks. Ah. Oh, the no. Tampa Bay Rays first official game is April first. What? 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 No, no, nobody wants that. Nobody wants I, that. I want it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no. Baseball is ew. Baseball is ew. Uh, I love it. I okay. Love it. We're not going to... We're. This is not baseball for normies. Oh. Hell no. Hell right. I'll, I'll, to I'll the I'll get no. Hunter Pence on my podcast and we'll Who's talk. that? A San, San Francisco Giants no. baseball what player. What is that? I don't know. Mm -mm. <sighs> no. Okay. So, hey, it's... Magic for normies. What's up, everybody? So that was our intro, and now we're here to talk about magic, I guess. And, Zuby, I I'm guess, sorry, yeah. your video is still pixelated, but I think my stream is better, though. Let's hope. I think it should not be buffering now. Hopefully it looks better on my end in that regard. So, I'm sorry, What are everybody. we talking about? What are we talking about? We're talking about, hey, all our friends are in chat. They're here hanging out with us. And we're about to talk about magic. Um, Hey, did y'all see that update about Strixhaven and the stuff for the rest of the year? Yes. Heck to the freaking yes. So let's talk about it, y'all. Do we talk about the whole thing or just talk about the best part? Let's. Hmm. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about the whole thing. Okay, are you putting, pulling it up on the screen? I'm putting it up on the screen. Okay, Strixhaven School oh, of Mages. You know what? We're not really going to talk about Strixhaven because we talked about it in the last Magic for Normies and we both decided yeah. that we really don't care that much for it. So we're just going to move on. We're still excited about the cards, though. We're excited about the cards. We're just not excited about the school. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Magic releases for the rest of 2021. <laughs> Strixhaven School of Mages isn't only what's next. We're just getting started. Okay, Modern Horizons 2. How do you feel about that? Why are you laughing? Um, well, Modern Horizons 1 is what killed Modern for me. So I'm sure it's going to kill Modern again for some people. Um, so I'm not very happy about it. Um, okay. I was not really into Modern Horizons at all because I'm not into that old stuff that much. Wow. Uh, yeah. So I just don't really care about it. Sorry. <laughs> Releasing June 11th. Anybody who's interested, Modern Horizons is happening June 11th. Okay. So let's just move on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're just like, yeah, so let's just move on. Um, I mean, they're at least going to have, um, aren't they going to put fetch lands in the set or something? Uh, does it say I that? I, I thought I heard that or something. I don't know. Okay, we do not spread misinformation here on Magic for Normies. so Definitely not. So don't take our word for that. Yeah, don't listen to us at all. We're completely wrong. Okay, so my OBS went red again, so I don't even know if anybody can see us streaming at this point. Yeah, it's buffering again for me. <laughs> um, hey, would you like to stream this from your channel, Zuby? I could. I don't have all the fanciness um on your stuff. Or you could Yeah, 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 we could do it from my channel because it'll be quicker. Okay. I know there's a way you can have me stream to your channel, but I don't know how to do all that. Oh yeah, but that would that would definitely take some time. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that. Um, if you want to go live, I will send a raid over to your channel. If, all if right. that's okay. Oh my gosh, we got a raid. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Did it work? Yep. Okay. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. So. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll just send you this half of the. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up in box and all that. That works. That works. Not box. Google Drive. Magic oh, you've got my weird camera, too. I'm, it's it's because I'm, I'm showing my screen with the Discord right now. So. It Yo, works. so it is, it is what it is. <sighs> Pixie's having so, internet issues, and we'll. Hey, as long as we can do this, though, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Everybody. Can can you send out a tweet that it's now on my channel? I will totally do that. Thank you, and then yes. let me go ahead and get back to sharing. Oh God, how do I do this? Oh God! <laughs> we know what we're doing. It's just like I'm not prepared for this at all. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah. In any way. So. Boom. Okay. So I've got the. Oh God! Why is it off centered? Uh, whatever. Stupid. Thing. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So I've got the, the Strixhaven thing back up the the one page we were talking about okay so as we're talking about first we were saying that you give no shits about Ma modern horizons it's true i don't i don't so then we were going to talk about the next set which is dungeons and dragons adventures in the forgotten realms oh that's right Ooh, i cannot wait i better get a freaking preview card mm. oh my I hope, I hope you do. That would be awesome. I've already asked, too, and I'm going to keep asking and be like... Do it. Um, so, releasing on July 16th, we begin our journey in Faerun. Faerun. With, okay, Faerun with Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. The first time we're bringing the world of time and drive the gathering release. So, I have a question. Yes. Okay, so, the folks who don't like Universes Beyond are fine with Dungeons & Dragons? Yeah, and it's um, I would have to say yeah because the two yeah. worlds kind of make sense in so a way. How is that different from the Lord of the Rings world? Because it's not Lord of the Rings. But it's like the same sort of high fantasy magic. Y yeah, it, it's high fantasy magic, but I mean, okay. it, it's the the two okay. universes kind of like go hand in hand though when okay. you when you think about it from a. But so also the other hand, if you had a third hand, it might go hand in hand in hand with Lord of the Rings. No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, my bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> and that, that, that's only the, the Tolkien purist asshole in me that says no. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. That's fine. We did. We talked about this. A little bit last time, so yeah. I'm, I don't want to get back into it, but I wanted to start to mention, but that's fine. You know, I, I'm actually really excited for the Dungeons & Dragons set. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be super fun. You know, I personally, so this is replacing the core set. Yes, right? correct. Yep. I like the core sets because so do I. they're sort of like just more simplistic. They're pretty straightforward, yeah. and I like that about them. S some of my favorite draft environments, too, because they're... Oh, absolutely. Like you said, it it goes back to a simpler draft format. Right. Um. So this is replacing it, and I, mm -hmm. I guess I'm hoping that it kind of has a bit of a more, like, simplistic feel where there's not, like, a lot of really wild mechanics. Um. You know, that like, I just feel like with a core set, we don't have that sort of thing. Yeah, I and, I and I hope that's how this one is. Yeah, I I don't know. I I wouldn't be surprised if if we see like adventure mechanic like from Throne of Eldraine. Um Okay, that, I, you know what? That is a great freaking mechanic. And right? I, I I love it. I and I wouldn't oh my be God, it's so good. I wouldn't be surprised if we see party back as well too. <gasps> well, party of course because that's yeah. what Dungeons and Dragons is all about, like your party. Yeah. You got to bring the like red solo came cups from the Dungeons and Dragons set. It had to. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, makes sense to me. But of course, I don't work for Wizards of the Coast, so or do you? my sense means nothing. Or do I? <laughs> Who knows? No, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I um, yeah. 
I think it'll be really fun. I'm excited. All right. And then do you want to talk about the first Innistrad set? Yeah. So there's, okay. So there's going to be two Innistrad sets. This, yes. is time, this is totally different, right? This has yeah, never th- been done before. Th- this has never happened. Oh my God. Okay. I got to turn off these alerts. I'm sorry. They're going to go crazy. Uh, we just, Baltan just gifted five subs. Thank oh, you, Baltan. And thank you, Baltan. Oh, I can't. Baltan's the best. I don't know how to turn off the sound in my ears. Oh, okay. Well, it's just going to be ringing in yeah. your ears. It'll be fine. Because I think it happened to you last week. It did. It's, <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, yeah, but Innistrad. Okay, so the first set that's coming out is Innistrad Midnight Hunt. And these are new names. And I guess set symbols too, right? Yeah, I like the set symbol for this. Yeah. So the first one that's coming out uh, releases on September 17th. It is the Werewolf set. Um, by the silvery shine of moonlight, you'll find plenty of packs to hunt for. <laughs> I love that they're doing this like around Halloween. It's perfect. You know, yeah. that's, that's really, that's good marketing. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and then in just two months after that, I know it's this is Crimson Vow will be released. And I have to assume each one of these sets will be a little bit smaller than one regular set. Well, they said they're full sets, but I don't know if that means so. I don't know what Watsy's mm. definition of full set means like right the, the, yeah. the same size as a standard set we've been getting, or maybe slightly smaller yeah i don't know i I don't know either um so yeah i i like the set symbol symbols so the midnight hunt set symbol is like a little werewolf in the moon that's very cool and the crimson vow symbol is i mean a bat i guess a bat is sort of like a bat and it it's like a mix of yeah, it's a bat and a it's bat also with fangs, like little tiny. Yeah, things. it's also sort of like a mix of if you look up the Dark Ascension set symbol, it was from oh. the first Innistrad block. Oh, um, okay. it, it kind of looks similar to that too. Interesting. So the Crimson Vow set is supposed to be the biggest vampire wedding in Innistrad history. I'm okay. How does cool <laughs> that sound? um well who's gonna get married i don't know that's the question right who's going to get married i i don't who do you think it's gonna be i like like oh soren i do not think soren's gonna get married yeah that's not the marion type of guy it 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 feels too obvious to be soren so (laughs) soren and nahiri no it's not gonna be (laughs) Sword and Nahiri, stop. Like enemies every, come on. I mean, I, I almost feel like Olivia is going to be one of them. Olivia and Anji? I mean, okay. I thought I thought Anji was... Interesting. Is Anji still alive? Anji, Anji is a falcon wrath, and Olivia... What's Olivia's name? Voldaren. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe? But but is Anji still alive though? I thought. Lore wise, I have I, no, I have idea. no idea because I know Olivia is still alive. Lore wise. Okay. Um. I'm gonna try to move my camera so it's like a little bit better. Oh, okay. Merit Lage gonna marry Emrakul. Oh, that's right because Emrakul's <laughs> still on the plane. Oh well, man. This is this is supposed. What did where did I read like? I think this is supposed to be like without Eldrazi. It was it before? Well, no. It says so. Our last visit was full of mystery with a twist on cosmic horror. But this time, it's a return to, of roots of what made Innistrad an enduring fan favorite for years. So, I mean, I think it's still going to take place after Shadows over Innistrad. Okay. Um, but I probably Emmercool won't make an appearance because she's. She's what imprisoned on the moon, I think. Oh, oh, wh- what if? Oh. What what if it's a vampire and a werewolf getting married? <gasps> that would never happen. How? What? Are you against vampire werewolf marriages? I 
absolutely. That would be like Romeo and Juliet getting married. They're from two different families. Like it just can't happen. Like uh-huh. what? What if it's um, shit. What, what's what's her name? That the werewolf planeswalker. Um, Mama planes or Mama werewolf. Um, oh my gosh, what's her name? Arlen. Arlen. Arlen Cord. Like what if it's like Arlen's kid or something falls in love with olivia's kid or soren's kid or something yes i like that I and, like and arlen and soren have to set aside their differences for love and then emmercool comes and eats everyone no i don't okay. want any eldrazi to be there <laughs> we underworld now <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they're also um, going to be releasing a Universes Beyond Underworld to match this Innistrad set. I, I, I'd rather go for Universes Beyond True Blood or Universes Beyond Blade. <laughs> yeah, Bla- I'm kidding. But, but, but we'd, not, we'd end up getting Universes know. Beyond Twilight, though. No, not we would. Twilight. I can't, Twilight. I can't no. wait to play with shit what's his name that the vampire that bell falls on Ed- edgar or edward 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 cullen yeah yeah we're gonna get an edward cullen vampire commander it only comes in foil because he's yeah <laughs> you know, there's no non-foil it doesn't exist yeah it doesn't exist no um so i'm really excited about the innistrad sets yeah i'm i'll be you know, I I know that Wizards only make sets, um, like, separately now. Like, you can't draft them together like you would back in the day. But I almost, I'm kind of hoping that these sets can be drafted together. Because that it's would be fun. The Innistrad ones, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really fun. And and even if we can't, oh, we're totally having a stream where we're going to we're, we're gonna force it. Yeah, it'd be like a chaos in a strong yeah. chaos yeah ha- have have three of each booster pack from each from both the sets and just make yes. a sealed deck we're doing yes. it so good so good um yeah so i'm really excited about that i don't think anything else in this announcement i don't think there was anything else in this announcement um yeah because below that is Oh, invitation to school of mages. Mm, okay. Strict Haven. Okay, mm. we're too old for school, but sure, we'll play along. You're never time. too old for school. You're never too old for school. Stay in school, kids. Yeah, don't don't be like us. Don't be like us. We dropped out. We're losers. Look at us. <laughs> we're just like doing nothing with our lives. Don't grow up to be a content creator. Stay in school. <laughs> Get a degree, do something for real, please. Or learn a trade. We beg you, we beg of you. Oh God. Um. Yeah. So we're terrible. Okay. Okay, no, we're not terrible. We're just real. We're keeping it real. Okay. Oh man. So after Strixhaven, we're really excited about the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so our next topic, Zuby, this is one that you came up for us, and it seems to be sort of a hot issue on Twitter the last few days. Um, or actually, do tutors yeah. make Commander a worse format? Did you say Twitters or Tutors? Tutors. I oh, I, th- tutors. <laughs> I thought you said do Twitters. Twitter does make Commander a worse Twitter format. Twitter make Magic a worse <laughs> game. Um, type yes or no. <laughs> Right now. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um so Corbin Hosler uh made an article uh titled Tutors Make Commander a Worse Format. And um I thought it was an interesting article. I didn't realize of course me not following along with Twitter magic drama and all that stuff. Um mm-hmm. I didn't realize this was like I guess a hot topic topic issue like like it, it, it's funny because five minutes before we even started the stream here I, I'm like looking into her and I'm seeing all these people and arguments going back and forth and I'm all like oh people are obviously mad about this um mm-hmm. so I I wanted to bring it up to you and as someone who's newer to EDH um do you feel that do tutors make 
Commander, I, I I hate to use the word worse format, but do you find tutors unfun in games? Uh, me personally, no. And 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 let's define tutors <laughs> as stuff like demonic tutor, diabolic tutor, like finding that game winning card that you need, right? Well, so I guess at the level I'm playing. The level that I like to play, you're tutoring for a good card, but it's not necessarily one that's going to win. It's not one card that will win you the game. Yeah, because... You know, we don't play infinite combo stuff. Um, we just keep it pretty casual and lower power level. And I have literally no problem with a tutor because it's like it's maybe going to turn the game into your favor. Mm -hmm. But... It's it's not necessarily like the game's over, you're gonna win, it's done. Um, everyone like I feel like the tutors, they're expensive cards, like it's not like you necessarily have I don't have them in every single deck that I play. Um Same. I, I don't mind them at all. Like I do not mind them at all. And it's singleton, so I just feel like you know, you're only going to get to play it one time in that game, probably. I mean, I guess if you're doing some heavy graveyard recursion, you might be able to get it back and do it mm -hmm. again. But for the yeah. most time, you're going to play it one time. I don't mind it at all. I, I, I don't care. I've never, I've never even thought about it. Now, I think at the level that we play, like like when we play off camera or whatever, we're not streaming. It's we have a very relaxed atmosphere, and we're not, you know. Mm -hmm trying to tutor out you know an infinite combo win or something like that and i feel tutors are okay at that level right mm -hmm. I, where i have a problem with them and this is more of a personal preference because i used to play higher level commander i guess or i, I don't even know if you call it competitive edh c edh or anything but like i would purposely build decks to where I would try to get my tutor as fast as possible and then try to get that game winning combo. And what mm -hmm. I found is the deck loses its variance at that point, And I'm mm -hmm. just playing a linear game with that deck over and over and over again. Yes. Yes. I, like literally what you just said, that doesn't even sound fun. It, it's, it's, and I've, I've had a few decks like that and I've always ended up taking them apart because once you do the one trick pony, you get to do mm -hmm. it the first time. And then when you realize, oh, this is all I do now, this is mm -hmm. all the deck. So it's never a mm -hmm. different game every time you play it, you know? Yeah. So at that point, I personally don't like tutors there because for me, it's boring because I like when I'm playing a deck, it's a different game each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I think I think it it really like it depends on your group. It depends on what level you're playing at. And the level I like to play at, pretty freaking casual, so I don't I don't mind it at all. Yeah. The 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 other thing I also want to mention here and I feel that and, and I like where a lot of this talk of commander is going to and it's and it brings sort of what the D and D community has been doing is what they call a session zero or rule zero, where you actually sit down with your group and talk about, hey, what do you feel like playing? Right? Do you want to play higher level cards? Okay, cool. We'll play those decks and 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 if we agree that we're gonna play higher level games, and if yeah. you do that infinite combo or tutor up for your combo, I'm okay with that. You know? Yeah. But if we mm -hmm. but if the, the problems where I have is, like we've talked about before, pub stompers, right? Mm -hmm. Where you, you all agree saying, hey, I'm, I'm playing a what I consider a casual deck, but your version of casual may be, you know, infinite draw cards and win, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's... Yeah. I, I feel like that's where what a lot of people need to start like thinking about and doing when it comes to their play group and even playing with other people is really talking it out. Like, yeah. What do you want to see? What, what do you want to play? Yeah. 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 I agree. Um, and that like, that's another thing. Like I really don't, I don't love playing with people. I don't know. 
because it, you know, even if you talk about it, like, mm -hmm. who knows? But, yeah, because um, you, know, you, you don't get, know you the get, person and all exactly. that. Exactly. You get your little group and you, you just kind of know, like, what are y'all playing tonight? And you, you kind of get to know their commanders. And um, I just, I feel really grateful that I sort of have that kind of group now. Mm -hmm. You know, in our Discord, we sort of, we've played with a lot of the people there several times. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have good we have good communication with the group yeah. there, and and for me that's what's fun about it. Just you know, knowing the oh, people yeah. you play with, we're all kind of expecting to play the same level game, that sort of thing. Yeah, and and, and that's the thing that I like. Where you, you know, just talking about our group is we we have a, a variety of decks as well too. We have it from pre con level up to. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can play some pretty powerful stuff as well too. Like, like Grand Arbiter, you yeah, know? like that, like oh, totally God. like a trash deck. Like you just want to be a complete yeah. jerk and or, ruin everybody's night, that sort of deck. Or, or just like the other night when uh um, uh, what was it Baltan made me play Winota, and oh no, did you? I I miss your stream Tuesday night. Did you play Winota? Yeah, Baltan made oh. me play Winota, and I decimated everybody. <laughs> You have got to play in that deck, dude. It's too well, good. Well, if Kyoji was in the stream, you know, he, he was playing a mill deck and he made me mill 12 oh. cards. So I hit him for like 50 damage on, on when it was my turn. Oh, dang. Oh, well. He made yeah. me mill some of my best cards. I mean. Yeah, that's a response right there. That's. Yeah. That'll get you. And then. Oh, thank you for the sub. Oh, thank you for the sub, Mr. Big Bents. Yeah, make Zuby Mill get killed. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um no, I, I think overall with tutors, it's um I, I feel like the biggest thing is, you know, you, you like them or hate them. People need to actually talk with the group before even starting and and just understand what kind of game you want to play. It's same right. exact thing that happens in D&D now. That we we do mm -hmm. a session zero. We discuss the do's and don'ts of the game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if people don't like it, then just drop out. I, I feel like when it comes to streaming, it's sometimes a little bit harder. Sometimes, like, when I bring people on, like, like you said, when I don't mm -hmm. know the person, you yeah. know, our idea of casual could be very different. Like, my idea of casual right. is playing my my one deck that has zero creatures. <laughs> <laughs> zero creatures? Yes. I've never heard about that. Yeah, and and that to me is very casual, whereas uh -huh. their version of casual is like, oh, I'm gonna play five color dragons and just ramp out, you know, the Ur Dragon That's really quick. Not casual. No. <laughs> okay. But who knows? People have different ideas about stuff, you know? Yeah. Whatever. So, I mean, my Corval deck that I say is pretty casual, and it yeah. actually is, though. No, it, it is. I mean, it, if, yeah, I feel like you could definitely make it better. Like, you, you could bas basically, if you put in some tutors in there and mm -hmm. some, like, ramp or whatever, you can make it pretty nasty. Yeah, you know, I've decided, I feel like when people hear the word Corval, they're like, oh my god. Yeah, so, it, it's got that reputation. Deck is. Yeah. yeah. If I play Corval, like, he gets destroyed immediately. And I'm just like, what the f Um, okay. So, but I have decided, I think I've decided, I'm just gonna, like, go high level with that. Like, Do I'm it. Gonna, Do you it. You want me to play, you, you think Corval is high level? Okay, I'm gonna show you. High level, Corval. Let's go. All right, do it. Do it. I'll yeah, be I'm excited. Do it. Oh, yeah, and I gotta fun. play against, you, and then you're gonna play against Grand Arbiter. If you, if you make, do you think Grand Arbiter is a good match against Corval? We'll see. You know, if you make, no. if you make, if you make Corval high level, you have to go up against Grand Arbiter. But it's just gonna be like, like deny everything. With Grand Arbiter, though. Pretty much. That's not even playing. It is, because my win con is Approach of the Second Sun. Oh, that is so lame. 
Fine. Do you want me to play Crufix then and get all my Eldrazi out and eat your Corvald? No. All right. So then I'll play Grand Arbiter. Hey, didn't you pay for my channel points one time in my stream? You did. Okay. You did. I think you did. What was it? You, you have to pay like, what, 10000 for me to play Grand Arbiter or whatever? Have Zuby play Grand Arbiter. <laughs> yes, it is your channel point. And I think you paid for it one time. Oh my gosh. I've seen Zuby play that deck twice and it was awful both times. The deck did nothing and stopped nothing. <laughs> what? I think he overestimates how good the deck is. No, it's the the last time I played with uh um what was it with food time the other day, it's I kinda let him win. I, I had like th two counters in hand and I'm like it, it was also getting close to midnight too, and I'm like, I'm done. Oh, you were you were just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> wow. You can't just let people win like that, Zuby. Oh, that's right. That that epic game that Andy and I had. With, with when Andy and I played Azorius Grand Arbiter and he played Lavinius, oh. and and uh, the other two were playing Grixis. It was the most god awful game ever. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Absolutely terrible. It is, but I, I think overall, like, do tutors make Commander a worse format? I don't think it does. I think no, tutors I are fine. And if yeah. you are one of those that don't like them, then just tell your group. Like, say something. Talk to the people. I mean, you know, and if they're all like, oh, no, we got to play tutors because blah, 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 then maybe your group sucks and those people suck. <laughs> and you just need better friends. And that's why you need to come to the Magic for Normies Discord because we're cool. Do it. <laughs> come to the Magic for Normies Discord. We're cool. Yeah. Um, so what else are we talking about tonight? Ooh, we are talking, before we get into that, we forgot to mention we are sponsored by Cardsphere.com, the best place to buy, trade, and sell your magic singles. Yes, we are. We are sponsored by Cardsphere.com. And tonight, we are going to, um, sort of do a special spotlight on all of the card sphere sponsored creators so many of them you all may already know but um maybe not every single one of them oh let me pull up the document do, do you want me to I show did. the screen for yes okay let me do that all right uno momento um, um so oh shoot hold on sphere... ah, i'm so not ready <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's fine um Oh, which one is it? This one? Oh, no, not that one. Ah. It's called Card Sphere Creators. CS Creators. No, no, I was just trying to remember what scene I had it set up for. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, I got it up on the screen. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the creators that Card Sphere sponsors are all really freaking cool people. Amazing um, creators. Yeah. So we wanted, we just sort of wanted to talk about them. Um, our first one tonight is Albie MTG. And um, Albie's not like super out there on Twitter and stuff. So y'all might not even know about him, but um, he makes YouTube videos and he's a writer for the Card Sphere blog. He's a pretty cool guy. He plays competitive magic, but I think kind of just local i don't know how high level that he plays yeah because i know he's been to a few tournaments and all that and has done well mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but i think he um I, I i know he's like you said slowed down on his content um so i think he was in college or something and, and graduated or something like that yes yes um but but he does some cool stuff so um Check him out. Check out his content. Give him a follow on Twitter. Uh, yeah, he's a cool dude. He does he does some card sphere. <clears throat> he he's done some card sphere um like building deck stuff off card sphere that sort of thing. Yeah. So he does some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, check him out. Albie underscore MTG on Twitter. 
All right. So Albie is the first sponsored creator. Next one is... Our next one is Color of Magic. Um, Color of Magic is a podcast. Mm -hmm. They've been going on Um, for a little over a year now. Or a year and a year and a half, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So it is a podcast done by Brian Allen and Daquan Watson. Mm -hmm. Um, They're two real cool dudes, and um, they just kind of talk about their experiences in magic and that sort of thing. They are both on Twitter, and you can see their Twitter links there. Um, Yeah, they're... they're, uh, Have you ever... Have you ever listened to their podcast before? Yeah, I've listened to it a few times. I have. Yeah, they're um they talk they don't just talk magic, which I really like too. They they talk about, you know, experiences that, you know, co- coming from, you know, black people and um I I really like some of their point of views like that Daquan has cuz he's he used to own a game store as well too. Oh, okay. And, um, I didn't realize he owned one. Yeah, I I I don't think he does anymore. But um, okay. he, he used to back in the day and just mm-hmm. talks about those experiences. And um, and and Brian also has some cool, unique views, too, because he used to be a sports writer, I want to say. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Daquan used to work for Watsy, too. I forgot about that. Oh, and I think you interviewed them on your podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep, last cool. year. Yes. Gotcha. So... They're both they're both very cool. Their podcast is definitely different. Um, you know, they have a different point of view in the community, so and that I, is something we all can learn from. And I feel like they've and, got a good chemistry together too. That's yeah, what I really for like. sure. Um, and I think that sort of rolls us over to the next sponsored creator, um, Power Dragon. Which Power Dragon is Daquan Watson. Yep. Um, but he sort of does a lot of his own Magic the Gathering content. Aside from the Color of Magic podcast, he does a lot of streaming and he does he makes a lot of YouTube videos actually. Holy like crap. almost one a day. Yeah, with, it, it, it's with, it's at least one a day. Yeah, with these decks that he's built and played and tested out on arena, like I don't know how he lot. does it. Yeah. He does a lot. And as I've noted on here, he does a lot of commentary as well, um, which is really cool. He's done commentary for tournaments yeah. and stuff, you know, virtually. Um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. He, I, I'm so impressed by like the amount of content he puts out and the, all crazy. of the different decks that he builds. All and, the freaking And he time. streams late too. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. He streams. I don't know a how he does lot. it. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Yeah. I'm exhausted um, just thinking about it. Yeah, he does a lot, but he's real cool. I mean, he he's a pretty down to earth guy, so I like him. I like watching his stuff. He's cool. Yeah. He's a cool dude. Um, next our up. our next sponsored creator is Holy Diva. Um, and she is a streamer. I think she's a full-time streamer, if I remember correctly. And I think um, so. She, she plays, I think she plays Magic competitively. Yeah, she, she's been streaming for a long time now, too. Um, mm-hmm. I want to say, and Efren in chat may be able to correct me, but I want to say she's one of the earliest uh, Cardsphere-sponsored creators. Is she? Because I'm pretty sure she was sponsored after I was. Oh, dang. Okay. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Oh. I, rem- I think I remember when she got sponsored, and I like her. I like I Oh, like yeah. Her I, I think her, her freaking... I've watched her a bunch of times, and like, yeah, like I said, I remember good. watching her do Magic Online, and she's freaking... And I love how she doesn't put up with shit. <laughs> yes, as Efren says in chat, she is from Spain. Yeah. Um yeah, and and I mean she she's really good. She's really talented. She's very good at magic. And oh, yeah. um she puts together some really good decks. So she's she's definitely one to watch if you are more into the more competitive oh, yeah. type of magic. For sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. Um our next creator is Pixie oh, Kitten God. Plays. Oh, so that's God. me. Y'all already <laughs> know me. 
Um, do we, I do. Yeah, I, you do. I do a little bit of streaming. Um, and I make YouTube videos, and y'all already know, so we'll just move on. Um, Skybills! Uh, our, yes, our, our next creator is Skybills, and we love Skybills. She's, love her. she's very cool. Um, Skybills is also... Okay, so Skybills is a streamer. She plays very competitively. Oh, yeah. She was she was invited to the first first Mythic Imitational, if I remember correctly, the very first one. Yeah, it was like the first or second one because she she was on. Yet yeah, she was like, like high up there, and she played yeah. really really well. It, like yeah. you, you can go watch her on um on a uh, YouTube, like the the whole production and all that. Yeah, I agree with yeah. what Baltan says. Sky still scares me on the magic table. Yes, the times that I've played with her or even against her, I'm just like, oh, She's damn. Very competitive. Very, very competitive. It, it's not. It, it, she, she's very competitive, but she's also fucking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you could um, just tell. Like, j just. Like you can tell when watching her that she's really good, but it, you, it's mm -hmm. it's different when you actually play against her. When you play against her, you're just like, oh fuck, I'm like really bad I'm at trash. this game. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. trash. I'm trash. Why am I even here? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. I've played against her one time, and that will probably be it because she's too good. She's scary. She's too good. good. She's too good. Yeah, but she plays. Um, she does a lot of speed runs for video games and stuff. So she does a lot yeah. of stuff outside of Magic: The Gathering. Yeah, she 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 does a huge. She works a lot with uh, Games Done Quick, which is a, okay. like a huge uh, like speed run organization where they raise millions of dollars every time they do their big like like quarterly streams or whatever. Oh, that that cool. awesome Games Done Quick. Mm -hmm. That she she she's been doing that for years. Um. She she's even a pretty good speed runner. Um, I can't remember what mm -hmm. game she speeds runs a lot of. Um, you can find it on her YouTube channel. Um, yeah. But she's but, a overall really great person. Yeah, and I think she does some commentary too. Yes. For, for some Magic: The Gathering stuff. VML. She does commentary. for the VML. Yes, yeah. she does some commentary there. Um, yeah, but she's very cool. So we will move on to our next creator. It's Magic with Zuby. Trash. Um, we no, <laughs> we all know and love Magic with Zuby. Um, Zuby is our favorite podcast streamer, and recently a writer for the Card Sphere blog. You've been yes. doing your Arena Cube stuff. Yes, and, and I'll be starting to do some Paper okay. Cube stuff. I've oh, already cool. got some Paper Cube ideas, and I love just um writing again because that's how i got started in magic content yes cool so we'll bypass that trash <laughs> um and to so, mythic michaela um, yes mythic michaela is our next sponsored creator and michaela is great she is a streamer and she actually is really good at magic too like Look, re really good at limited she's like like she's yeah. she's good at constructed, but I feel like her strength is more in limited. She's um, mm -hmm. freaking really good at it. Yeah, she and she is a cosplayer. She does she mm -hmm. does a lot of cosplay and. Oh, we she... should have brought that up. The the Magic Disney cosplay. Oh, I for, forgot about it. What do you mean I should have brought that up? The 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 whole the Disney cosplay everyone did like you, okay. Michaela, Zebex. About it after yeah. this, if you want to. Um, but yeah, Michaela does all of like when she does cosplay, she makes her own outfits. Like she sews them, so she's very talented. Um, we also forgot that she is a podcaster. She does. Um, oh. oh my god, she does the podcast with Spencer Howlin. Um, okay. oh, my, oh my gosh, Efren, what's the name of it? It's um, well, Mythic Mythic well. Cast. Mythic Cast. That's right. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, she she's a relatively new co-host with Spencer with the Mythic gotcha. cast and um they they mainly talk to other Mythic players um oh, wow. in, in arena okay. to just talk about, you know, how they did and how they got there and all that. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good podcast. Wow, interesting. I did not realize that. I'll have to yeah. check it out. Yeah, it's she's only been on it for a couple months now, I think. Gotcha. So Next. Yeah, but she's cool. She's very talented. Yes. Um, she's great. So we will move on. Our next 
sponsored creator is J Doubler Two. Um, oh, you say J Doubler Two? Yeah. Oh, I say J Double R. Oh, it probably is J Double R. Okay, but his name is John Roberts. Okay. I know. So I know. Just, can we just not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, but he is a streamer. He streams arena and i think he like he I, i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly he makes a bunch of different decks and plays a lot of different stuff yeah like he um, he's really good he's pretty yeah, innovative he's too yeah like he comes up with some really cool ideas he yeah. will be on the magic Kazubi podcast when things start getting back to normal oh i okay. i had him scheduled he, he he's one of the ones i had scheduled to come on and then i had to cancel like twice because of the whole BS. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I felt bad. Yeah. No, but he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's um, a really chill dude. I like him a yeah, lot. Yeah, I've watched his stream several times and he is just like totally chill. He doesn't get upset about anything and I'm just like, how? How? Right? I know, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. It, 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 it's it's kind of similar to like when I play Arena on stream and I'm like, ah, I'm not going to get salty at all. Like, I'm, I'm totally <laughs> chill. Right? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, so our next creator is... And this is a guest. new one, too. Yeah, so this is actually a YouTube channel. Um, mm -hmm. There are two hosts, Michael and Joseph. And they, I kind of feel like this is... Um, what, why am I forgetting the name of the of the EDH game? Game Nights. This is like Game, this is like game Nights generic version generic version i'd say this is like you would th you would say it's the same production level as game nights no 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 no. i i would just say this is uh like a little bit more streamed line and not as long it, it, it's oh, it's yeah okay. definitely higher level play than game nights because I, i've only seen the first two episodes and the first two episodes they were like pretty quick games and they were they were fun to watch too okay well, I guess I was just, I guess I was just referring to, like, the production quality and, like... It, it's close to it, because um, yeah. I, I know the guy, it, Michael Lynch... It, it is close, yeah. Uh, Michael Lynch, he actually is, like, a, a production crew member on some movies or some stuff, something like oh, that. Oh, And, and wow. Joseph, uh, Black Nito, he um mm -hmm. does acting and stuff like that, yeah. too. Yeah, I mean... No not to say it's not good. Like what what oh, they're yeah. making is really good. Like, like really friggin' good. popular as hell too. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean they they just started like what a month, two months ago and they already right? got like over fifteen thousand subs on their YouTube channel or something like that. Like it's yeah. insane. But it's because they're making really awesome content. So For sure. For sure. Yeah, it's very it's it's I mean it's just it's EDH. So who doesn't love that? It's great. All right, and, um, and oh, sorry. Our last, 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 but certainly not least. No, and newest is Unicorn Fluff. Yay! She just Yay. got announced. What yesterday, right? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And um, she is a streamer. She's relatively new too. Like I, I think she started streaming last year. Mm -hmm. And I remember I told you about her. Um, because mm -hmm. I, I, I was just randomly browsing streamers one night, came across her and she was just hilarious. Um, and mm -hmm. then we had her on the stream a couple times. Yep. And, um. Yeah, she's great. I mean, one of, one of the most fun games of Commander I've ever played was on your stream with Unicorn Fluff and Efren. And oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember it, but I don't remember like every detail of it or even yeah. what what deck i played but it was just we just had so much fun we just laughed the whole time just, just great. trash she's, talking the entire time <laughs> yeah she she is really fun to play with and yeah last week was it last week yeah last week it was her birthday stream and we played with her she did she streamed for like 15 hours no, that day no or it was this past monday it, it was wasn't last, this past monday yeah it wasn't last week it was the, on oh, the yeah, 15th. It, was, it was this past Monday. You're it right, feels like right, last right. week, right? I know. It was, it was almost a week ago. Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, but that was really fun. She's yeah, that great. Was. I'm really glad that Card Sphere has decided to sponsor her because yes. she 
is a really great person and a great content creator. I agree with that. And that's that's it, right? Yeah. And that is it. And that, you know, that does not include um, the list of writers that Cardsphere has for their blog. That's kind of a separate thing. But yeah, yeah that is all the Cardsphere sponsored creators. And I am glad that I am included on that list. And I love Cardsphere. So am I. I'm glad to be on it too. Yeah. And they're great. Um, and I think that sort of leads us into our next topic where we're going to sort of talk about our EDH deck building progress. Ooh, that's right. For that's right. Our build off. Um, yeah. How, how are you making on your progress there? So I have my, I have a preliminary list for my, um, uh, what, what is it? Did I spell my commander's name wrong? Is oh, yeah, you, you Zaxara, yeah, Zaxara, not Zaraxa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I knew it though. So, um, I have a preliminary list, but I need to sort of double check it and go over it and maybe have some more experienced players check it for me. I can check it out, <laughs> tell you what to keep. Yeah, um, but <laughs> I'm getting there i'm almost ready to list my wants on card sphere and and that's the thing like we're building our decks we're going to put everything we want on card sphere to to build our decks on card sphere yep and then we will play we will have a showdown so, yes um how is your how is your deck building coming um all the cards are on their way from card sphere Already? All of them are on the way? Yeah, so, okay. All right. I, I know we're sponsored by Cardsphere and all this stuff. But this is going to sound like a huge shill thing. <laughs> but this is where I have to say, holy fucking shit, Cardsphere. This is what's so awesome about it. Okay. So, I've been working on my list. And I got the list where I'm comfortable enough to where, okay, this is going to be decent. So, okay, I'm ready to list the cards on Cardsphere. Mm -hmm. And I, I listed them one by one because there were certain versions of the card I wanted. You know, um, and I kid you not, Pixie, by the time I put in the last card, I just had 10. Every card was sent except for like 10 cards. And then and then oh. I, I posted the rest of it on the card sphere discord and then Baltan got a hold of it. And not even like 15, 20 minutes later, everything was sent. So like wow. within an hour. I had my entire deck sent to me and I'm like, holy shit. And, and these are cards awesome. like, and, and we're doing budget. And some of these cards are not well known or, or well popular cards. I should say not like, right. Not like the common, you know, cultivates mm -hmm. or rampant growths and stuff right, like that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So some of these cards are like, you know, I'd be surprised if some people still had them laying around. Yeah. You know? Never heard of them. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. But, well, that's I, great. I know that's like a whole shill thing for cards here, but that just shows you like, holy crap, just yeah. I, I, I couldn't even get finished putting in my list and I was already getting emails like such and such is sending you this such and such is sending you that. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That is great. I need I need to get on mine. I need to finish my list and yeah. put it in there so we can have our showdown because that's going to be exciting yes. what, what's your deck going to be like because isn't your commander like real weird it is real, real weird and it's gonna smash your face what yeah it's it's supposed to be a showdown between you and me so i built it to smash but i picked really bad commanders so that you would lose yeah but it's i'm gonna smash your face i and and i did build around the commander too I did build around it. I, I used what the commander could do, and I built around it as well. What does your commander do? Don't what worry your... about. Don't worry about it. Don't okay, look it up. No, I'm no. gonna look it up. What's a Ant called? Stang. Okay, I'm typing it in chat. A and I got the old version of Stang, not the new one. I didn't know there were multiple versions of Stang because I've literally never heard of that card. Well, you know, that's what you get for giving me. And not very well known commander. Now it's gonna, now it's gonna smash your face. Okay, so wait a second. When Stang enters the battlefield, create Stang Twin, a legendary three four red and green human warrior creature token. Exile that token when Stang leaves the battlefield. 
Sacrifice Stang when that token leaves the battlefield. Yeah, break it. So, ah. okay, wait a second. So I need a bunch of removal? Is that what I'm hearing? Um, no. Yeah. I need no. to just die what immediately. The? I'm gonna wreck you. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of single target removal for staying. Is that what's happening? I, I mean, Balchain, how do we not metagame against each other? <laughs> I mean, we, we both know what our commanders do. It's, right. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you metagame some cards against me. I mean, it's to be expected. Not, I have not done that. I have not even yeah. thought about your commander while I've been building my deck. Like, legitimately, I haven't. I mean, I think we have to play 1v1, right? Yeah, yeah. Or how do we know who's who's really the winner? When we play one v one and yeah, we have to just play one smash one. face. Yeah, we really do. We really yeah. do. Um, but it's gonna be fun. So maybe not the next Magic for Normies, but maybe the following one. We'll we might be ready for this. So let me look at the calendar, cause so oh god, why is it putting me back? Okay, so oh our next show why well, she'll be on april 1st april fools april fools we'll have to do an april fools episode um so then you're thinking maybe april 15th tax yeah. day maybe tax day maybe tax oh, day yeah. if we're gonna do tax day then i gotta play grand arbiter no yeah no that's not the, oh. that's not the deck build deck building showdown did, I don't think we ever brought this up. Sorry for completely changing the subject here. You're fine. You're fine. Um, haven't we been doing this for over a year now? Magic for Normies? We have, yes. I don't know if we talked about it on the last episode. No, we haven't talked about it. But I was the other day. Like, yeah, it's definitely been over a year at this point. So we I don't remember exactly when we started. Yeah, I I'd have to look back on... um. Yeah. Like your your channel and on, yeah. on the RSS feed. But maybe April 1st, since April Fool's, it could be the first year anniversary episode or something like that. Yeah, sure. We can do something like that. That'd be fun. One year, April Fool's. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. We all into watching this for an entire year. <laughs> 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 That was our plan from the start, and y'all got fooled. It'll just be five minutes long. Like, Haha, ha, tricked you. We're done. Peace. Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That'd be kind of sad, actually. What? That'd be funny. It'd be, funny. It, it, it'd be funny, and then just be like, well, now what do we do on every other Thursday? That's true. We yeah. actually love this. We would yeah. never really just delete it. This is fun. I oh look my forward God, that's to this funny. That's funny. every yeah. two weeks. Um, yeah, so let's... Wait a second. Did you want to talk about the um, MTG Disney? Yes, let's talk about... I, I, I want to talk to you, like, how did that all get started? You know, how, who, how did you all choose, like, what costumes and all that stuff? and Or not costumes, but, like, who you were going to be as. Sure, sure. That. Um, so we have, so there's a Discord for the MTG cosplayers, and I don't really know how I got roped into it. Not roped, that's not right at all, yeah. because I enjoy being a part of it, and I'm not really a cosplayer, and never have been, so, but somehow I've gotten into this group, and I really enjoy it, it's a lot of fun, I'm not like hardcore i'm not making i'm not sewing my own outfits together and yeah. anything like that but i'm you know it's still cosplay it's a costume so it is what it is but we have a discord and um we sort of just talk about ideas different mashup ideas and there's like a schedule there's a calendar what are we gonna do we think about the sets that are coming out in the future and we plan stuff way ahead of time oh, that's because cool. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're going to make, like, hand make a costume, you need a lot of time to put this stuff together. And a lot of the people do hand make their costumes. It's, like, really impressive. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just, like, have a schedule, and we plan it out, and everyone just talks about it. And 
everyone sort of has their, you know, characters that they regularly dress up as. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of the... A lot of the more serious cosplayers have, like, multiple characters that they dress up as. And they have, like, their costumes. So when we do these, like, sort of mashup ones, they'll use... They'll use... um, pieces of their like legit cosplay costumes and sort of mesh them in with whatever crossover we're doing. But yeah, I I don't know how the MTG Disney one sort of came up, but somebody had the idea and everybody was like, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. So we just planned it. We planned it a couple months out. Oh, dang. So this has been a couple months in the making. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely since last year. Um, but you know, in the meantime, it was like, we did the, we did the holiday one Mm -hmm. and other ones like, you know, Halloween, we did the witch one. So it was kind of like, we just have several, several different things planned out and you kind of know what's coming down the road. And I mean, as far as, as deciding like what character you're going to do, everybody just kind of does their own thing, you know, and people might say like, um, oh, who do y'all think would go well with, like, Chandra or whatever? And people say, oh, it would be cool if you did Chandra with Alice in Wonderland or whatever, you know. Yeah. And there's just a lot of communication and collaboration. That's and people really talk about cool. it and they give each other ideas. I, I really even, like hearing that. That's awesome. It, it really is such a great group. And um, even, like, when people are... When people are like, well, I have my costume, but I'm not sure what to do for the photo shoot. Do you have any ideas? How should I set this up? What do you think I should do for the background, etc.? cetera, whatever. Um, it's just really like the most wholesome group of all time. That's awesome. And, um, you know, we come up with our hashtag. We talk about when we're going to release it. We, we do a little TikTok video together. Um, Zbex usually puts that together for us. And it's just a lot of fun. And then we I release love hearing it. that. Yeah. And the community has really been so great about all of it. Like I've never heard any negative comments personally about yeah, any I, of it. If there has been, I haven't seen any. Yeah, it's it's been great. Everybody just everybody seems to really enjoy it and you know, we're all coming from a really good place trying to just spread positivity by yeah. doing it put a smile on people's faces and yeah i think everybody really loves it and it's That's great awesome. it's a lot of fun yeah um and so i did <clears throat> soren and cruella de vil because i felt like soren is kind of i mean is he a villain i guess you could say he's a villain ish whatever it depends on the point of villain. view right but um yeah so i was like well Cruella de Vil is kind of like evil and as far as like the way they look, the aesthetic, like Soren is just kind of like mono black outfit and Cruella de Vil just kind of like wears black and white. So I was like, oh, this would kind of be a fun mashup. So <laughs> that's what I went with. And, and you had the infamous fun. picture of you and Daisy or Daisy which is like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Great, right? It was the best. It was such a great I picture. loved it. Her face, she just hated it, but it was good enough for like two pictures and it was that was it. Great. It was worth it. it was worth I it I, I loved pictures. it. I thought it was great. Um you know, was yeah. there like like how did you come up with the costume itself? Did you have to make anything or buy anything or how did that all come together Um, yeah i just kind of i i i mean i just kind of thought about like what does cruella deville wear and how can i make this sort of like look like what soren wears Mm -hmm. um so yeah i just you know i i bought a fake fur coat because that's one of cruella deville like signature things she wears a big fur coat and then um yeah, like I just bought a plain black dress. That's what Cruella Deville wears, and you know she, she, she has her little like long fancy cigarette holder. Mm-hmm. So I got that. Um, 
I got a wig that was just like half black, half white. I already had vampire teeth and that was pretty much it. So it didn't seem too hard to set up then. Yeah, it's it's not. I, I oh I did. I had I had red gloves too cuz Cruel Deville wears red oh, gloves. Oh yeah. Yeah. So But yeah, it was not difficult at all. So is there any other cosplay things coming up that we should be Oh, there is always another cosplay thing coming up. Or you yeah. can't spoil it yet. No, I'm not going to talk about it for sure. Okay, Definitely fine, not. fine, because we no. don't talk spoilers on Magic for Normies. No, we don't talk spoilers on Magic for Normies. Um, but you, know, you usually, I, I will give you a hint. Usually we sort of like, they're, they're sort of centered around like um, American holidays mm -hmm. or special days that yeah sort of thing. yeah what was up with the disney was there any reason why that one was random okay that one okay was, that one was totally random yeah it's universes um, beyond cosplay shut up Efren. <laughs> it is it is universe it, it, it is it is it is uh, it's not sponsored by wizards of the coast but it should be <laughs> i mean hello yeah it should be at this point yeah, it right because it's it's pretty popular or at least some sort of mention of it right wow what the heck can you just acknowledge that we're making these costumes right like i really like how most of the cosplayers like make a different character every time and every single time i'm like i'm soaring again is there anyone you want to cosplay as like any other no, i'm not like I'm not into it i'm not good at it i don't know well like, well, no, well no because it's all i know well, well no like let's say if if someone were to send you a costume or something, you know, of, a, of another character in Magic, is there anyone else you'd want to be? No? No, no. I what, can't really what, think of anyone. Okay, what about Edgar Markov? No, not Edgar Markov. Why not? Corval. Yes. 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 Corval. Like, okay, who dress as Corval? Yes. yes. Ooh, then I should do Crufix. But I mean, like, it's a dragon, so, like, how? I guess the only other one I could think of is, like, Rankle, because Rankle is, like, <laughs> this cute little, like, evil fairy. Or, um, you know, yeah. you, you could do, um, um, what's their name? Jury? That could be Jury. a fun one. Sure. But it, but it's also, like, if you get into these obscure characters, it's going to be, like, nobody really knows who you are. And I know. That's not very fun, you know. Then why don't you just okay? Why don't you be okay? I know a planeswalker you could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jace. Jace? What? No. <laughs> no. Ah, ah, no. Ah. Yes. No, yes. Jace. Yes. No. Mm -mm. No, but Nicol Bolas. That's a thought, though. Gender Ben Nicol Bolas. That that'd be <laughs> fun. No, I mean, the dragons are like, how do you do that? I can't do that. Yeah, I don't know. No. Mm -mm. Well, you, you could almost sort of do it like how um, in World of Warcraft, like how Anixia has a human form and all that. That you're yeah. Nicol Bolas, the, human form. Yeah, but then you're getting into some really complicated stuff. Like when I do Soren, wow. it's like, oh, I can just pretty much be a human with vampire teeth. Like that's easy. But if you're like trying to be like a human-ish, dragon-ish... That's a little out of my realm. Yeah. Petition for Zuby to cosplay the Gitrog monster. Wow. No. I'm not going to be the weird looking frog eating. Is that Yargle? No. No. Oh. G Gitrog monster is a giant like frog. Wait. Isn't that Yargle? No. Oh. G Gitrog and Yargle are completely different. Yargle's like a frog demon. This is like a frog thing. I don't know. Okay. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, okay. This is not a frog. This is like more like a toad. Same thing. Well, no, they're not. Frogs and toads are actually very different. Wow. It'd be very um, riveting. All right. All right, Lev, you're, you're banned from oh, chat now. Oh, <laughs> joking. Joking. God. Why? <laughs> this Gitrog monster has a, has a human arm hanging out of its mouth. I hate it. It's gross. 
It's very gross. So okay, I, <laughs> so I like that. I, I really like how you all like that. That warms my heart. How you guys have that discord and really help each other out and how it's not some competitive thing. And no, um, not at how, all. how, not at all. How that cosplay community really comes together and, yeah. you know, like it's great, you know, helps everyone out. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's very friendly. It feel it's all, it all feels very sincere and it's, it's a great group of people. That's great. Yeah. yeah I love it. So um, do you want to play some games? Yes. I'm excited okay. about this. Okay. Okay. So chat, this is the game we're going to need your help with. Yes. Five second rule. Okay. So let me try to remember how this is played. Each player takes a turn in the hot seat and has to answer a question such as name three things you can paint or name three yellow foods. Then they have five seconds to think of three answers and say them out loud before the time runs out. So I guess I'll try to pull up a timer on my phone or something. Okay. Um, timer. Five seconds. Okay. So... Um, I guess we'll just... It's three things, Efren, not five things, okay? Yeah, it's three, it's three. Okay, is he starting? And he's is saying, Efren starting? Efren's the fucking worst. <laughs> ah, name five crudes <laughs> here, Shani. Like, stop! <laughs> no. Okay, so Zuby is going to go first. So if somebody can type in chat, um, Zuby's first question. For the five second rule, and you will have five seconds to answer the question. So as soon as it happens, okay, name three three Toha monsters that aren't on magic cards. Wait, wait, oh, when am I, are you going to tell me when to go or, or? As soon as I say it, go. Oh, okay. Go. Uh, oh, God. Um, Destroya, shit, oh, I, I don't. Fuck. That's hard. You got zero. You got zero. You got zero. You got zero. Okay, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna name one for you then. Um uh, for me? Yeah. Destroyer okay. was on a card too. What? No, he wasn't. <laughs> oh man. Whatever. Okay. So do you want me to go? Or or here, I guess I'll do or, 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 yeah, how do, how do you want to do this? Like, for myself. it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Name. Do you want me to answer Lev's question? Well, I was going to do food times. Uh, oh, I didn't even see it. Okay. Uh, name three Amonkhet gods. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the scare of God. The scare of God. Yeah, that's, that's one of them. Isn't there a cat god? It's white. This oh, white oh, Ketra, a Ketra. Oh, Ketra. Okay, this is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Okay, uh, keep asking us questions in chat. Yeah. In chat so, so do you want to ask me one? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna ask you one now. Okay, name three planeswalkers that can make a good pie. Vraska. Uh, Sahili Ray, uh, Nicol Bolas. <gasps> Why? I don't know. I ju I just figured he's this like elder dragon god that could just make a good pie if he wanted to. He could make a good pie. He could make a mean pie. <laughs> he's read a lot of books. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Oh, okay. I've got one for you. Okay. Name three commanders that are the worst. Um, Grand Arbiter, um, Crufix, and Ashaya. What the fuck? Those are all mine! <laughs> <laughs> that was great! That was great! I was great! That was so good! Okay, 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 I got one for you. Ready? Alright. Name three people that work for Wizards of the Coast staff. Uh, Blake Rasmussen, Morrow, Ga Gavin Verhey. Good job! You got it! You got it! 
Boom. Okay. All right. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Pick one that's sort of easy for me. <laughs> name three content creators not on this show. Um. Oh. <laughs> Colin, food time and pack rack fever. Oh. <laughs> But could can you I really? Do I don't know if you can count Efren though. He's not really a content creator. He has a YouTube channel where he opens packs. How is he not a content creator? I don't know. I don't know. Food time. Food time has his thing. Food time's on a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Food time and Colin for sure. Thing. He has his. Stream. Efren though. Efren makes YouTube videos on. Mm. YouTube. It's called a pack. Listen to listen to me sing the intro song. It goes like this. Pat Crack Fever. Dan, 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 Dan. Dan. How could I know that song if he wasn't a real content creator? Come on, mm -hmm. Zuby. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? Yeah. Name three flying white creatures. At Archangel, Arc, the Archangel Avison. Um, <laughs> that's the only too one. Late, I, too <laughs> late, too God, late. that's hard. Yeah, but I know it is, right? Okay, okay. All right, I've got one for you. Okay. Name three Ravnica guilds. Golgari, Azorius, Orzov. There you go. Boom. Yes! I'm good. Heck okay, yeah. let's each do one more. Okay. Um. Well, I, I also feel that you and I should ask questions to each other, too. Like, like, like I, I, let's take, like, maybe two more from the chat, and then you and I have questions. You I know don't what I'm have any for you. I've got some magic ones. You have some for me? J just, like, one that we can do. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll each do one more from the chat, and then you can ask me, you can ask me yours. Okay. All right, so it's, is, I just did okay, the. Okay, so I'm going to ask you one from the uh, chat. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. Here, let's see. Name three planes that have been revisited in Magic the Gathering. Innistrad, Zendikar, Theros. You got it! There was so much time left! Yeah, that we've revisited? Yeah, it's... Nice. Because those have been the most recent ones. Nice, very nice. Okay, I love it, I love it. Okay. Alright, so one more from the chat. Um... Yeah. Let's see. These are difficult. Don't yeah, ask so me any of these. They're too hard. <laughs> Somebody write an easy one in chat for me. Yeah, what's please. another one? <laughs> oh, God. Shut up, I Colin. Can't, I can't answer that. I cannot even name three baseball teams. Okay. Um... Uh, God, these are like. All right, all right. Three cards you don't want to find in your deck. Um, counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I Temple of the False God. That was a good That's yeah, good island. Good yeah. One. Okay. All right. Um, one more I'll, for me. Yeah. I'll ask you one more from the chat. Okay. okay. Um, name three commanders that are the best. Krufix, Grand Arbiter, Ashaya. <laughs> 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 you know, don't have to agree with it. <laughs> no, I don't. I reject. I reject. All right. All right. So I've got one. For you. Okay. Okay. Yep. Name so three. Yep. All Go right. ahead. Name three blue cards. Ca cancel Grand Arbiter. <laughs> hey. Grand Arbiter is technically a blue card. Yes! I did it. Boom. Heck That's fun. We, we got to do this again. And yeah, that was a good one. And, and not only questions from the chat, but I want to come up with questions for each other, too. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that, too. 
specific for yeah. each other. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and we have one more game for the night before we are done. Um, this is a game that... Oh, yeah, you're going to have to tell me how to play with. this again. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did okay. you forget? <laughs> no, no, I just thought... I just thought... I'm not sharing my screen. Oh, I'm okay, not, okay. I'm not doing it, so... Okay, so what, we, what we're going to do is... If you will just pull up Scryfall, and then you can type in the name of the card after I tell you what it is, and we can look at it. Okay, okay, so let me... So what we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to read a card's ability to you, what the card does, and you have to guess what color it is. Okay, okay, so do you want me to switch from us to Scryfall, or yes. or, or do it when, when I try to guess the card or something? I or, mean, if you want to go back and forth, that's fine. Or if you just want to leave Scryfall up, if that's easier, that's fine, too. Okay, I'm just it's trying to... It's up to you. So, here, let me do... If you're okay with switching back and forth, that's fine. So, well, because I also want to see our faces, too. Our, our beautiful faces. <laughs> our beautiful faces. Okay, boom. I'll just put it down here near the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have to minimize OBS. I won't be able to see chat at all then. Um, and I won't really be able to see the stream either. So, Whatever all right. you need to do is fine. Okay, so I got it. All right. Okay, so the first card, I'm not going to say the name of the card, obviously. If it's a creature, I'm not going to say the creature type because that could give it away. I'm just going to tell you what kind of card it is and what the card does. And you have to guess what color it is. Okay. okay. So our first one is an instant. <clears throat> um, and it says, this card deals one damage to target creature or player. And that's it? That's it. Red. Nope. It is Hornet Sting. Ooh. Hornet, Hornet, like a bee. Hornet sting. Come on, Scryfall. You can do it. There you go. Ooh, okay. It's a green okay. card. If food time knew it. Yeah, if food time knew it. So nice. how weird is that, right? Is that Very green? Nice. Not really. Mm. It's not a really a green ability, right? Not. I mean, not normally. Mm -mm. Okay, I like that. Okay, okay. So, now you see, like, how the mm -hmm. gist of the game is going. Okay, so let's go on to our next one. Our next card is a creature card. Mm -hmm. um, it is a 5-6 creature with flying. And it says, each opponent who casts a spell this turn can't attack with creatures. Each opponent who attacked with a creature this turn can't cast spells. Oh, God. I feel like I know this card, too. It's a 5-6 flyer. Each opponent who cast or attacked with creatures can't what again? Each opponent who cast a spell this turn can't attack with creatures. Each opponent who attacked with a creature this turn can't cast spells. I, I My gut tells me white, but I feel like I'm wrong. It is Angelic Arbiter. That is the name of the card. All right, and let's see. Oh, it is white. Boom. It is white. Did you say you cannot read chat? Yeah, I cannot look at chat right now. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Um. Yeah, so that is a white card. How weird is that, right? That seems like a pretty normal white ability. Like, it, it's a taxing it ability. Yeah. And, 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 you know, this will actually be a good, like, what we're doing here is, like, good for me. Because since I've been building my cube, I've had to look at so many magic cards like throughout his magic's history the past this past week um mm. so th i i kind of like this game now because it kind of helps me test my ability of the color pie okay gotcha gotcha okay so our next one um this is another creature card uh okay. this is a three four creature <clears throat> with flying okay and it says at the beginning of your upkeep this creature deals one damage to you. So three, four, deals, I want to say black. 
It is called Serendib Efreet. Oh, that's blue, isn't it? Yeah, it that's is blue. It's blue. Yeah. Yes. Oh, damn. That 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 what was a weird card. That was tough because there are black cards that do similar, but mm -hmm. I forgot that blue. Hold, oh, this is an old card too from like revised and all that. Apparently, it was in Jumpstart. Yeah. Weird. Um, okay, so our next one. Okay, this is really weird. I don't even know. This is an enchantment. Okay. And it says, All players may attack with no more than two creatures each turn and block with no more than two creatures each turn. So, uh, before I answer this, are all these cards monocolored that we're going through? Yes, they oh, are. Okay. Um, just want to... So, so no more than two creatures may attack each turn, and no more than two creatures may block each turn? Yes, correct. God, it's like, it's th there's times I want to go with my gut because I understand <laughs> what the color pie is today. Yeah. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. I want to, I'm just going red. This is called Caverns of Despair. Oh shit, it is no, right. red. It's red. It's I red. took a wild guess too. Yeah. How strange is that? That is I mean, that Yeah, that's definitely not a red ability now. Yeah. Very, very strange. Um, okay, our next one is a creature card. It is a one one creature. Okay. Um, you can tap it. Target creature attacks this turn if able. Or you can tap it and target creature blocks this turn if able. Creature attacks this turn if able. Target creature blocks this turn if able. Oh my gosh. Um, my gut says red, but I'm going to say green. It is courtly provocateur. Pro, I'm going to, compl I completely spelled that. Just type in courtly come on scryfall oh blue it's blue oh, it's dang. blue how strange is that right i mean yeah I that's not a kind of not but it's not it's not a common blue ability for sure yeah that's that is, <coughs> that is a weird one yeah, I was thinking, because cause red can do similar stuff, but I was thinking, like you said, with this game, I'm like, maybe it's green, because I know green has weird abilities like that, too. Yeah. I, I, that, that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, okay, our next one is another creature. This is a 2-2 two -two creature, okay. and it says, when this creature enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You may cast an instant or sorcery from that player's hand without paying its mana cost. It enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals its hand. Mm-hmm. Definitely not green. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like blue or black are the ones who do that the most. So this card is called Mind Claw Shaman. Mind Claw Shaman? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say black. Okay. Let's look up Mind Claw Shaman. Look it up. Oh fucking red. It's Jesus red. It's red. I should have <laughs> known. I should have known. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, you may cast an instant sorcery, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's red. But the revealing of the hand thing, that, 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 that threw me up. Yeah, that threw because yep. red typically doesn't do that. Yeah, that was tricky for sure. Yeah, that, that was good. That, oh, God, this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I would never be able to do this, like, literally ever. Um, okay, so I've got a few more. The next one is an enchantment that okay. says... At the beginning of each player's upkeep, this card deals damage to that player equal to the number of non-basic lands he or she controls. Oh my god, I literally just saw this card last night. 
Oh, oh my god, what, what color, color was it? it? Um, what color is it? Oh god. It's either red or green. Um, <clears throat> I want to... I'm going to say green. I'm going to say green. It is called Primal Order. And you are... Oh, right. I was right. It's green. Oh, and, and the only reason I knew that is because last night I was going through red and green cards for my cube. Wow. <laughs> I knew it was one yeah. of the two. Because I remember, I remember seeing that and I'm all like, that's a fucking weird card. Yep, it is. It sure is. Okay, the next one. Okay, this one is an instant. Okay. Um, it says when you play this card, any player may pay five life. If a player does, counter this card. Oh, I've counter target spell. I, I've seen this. I've seen this card. It's black. Okay. Yes, <laughs> it's called Dash Hopes. Yeah, it, it, it's one of Black's only counter spells too. Because I, I, I remember seeing this um, this past week working on my cube. Yes. How weird is that one? <clears throat> it it oh. is. It's it's like the worst counter spell ever. Because, yeah, I'll take it's five totally. life. Yeah. yeah, like, who's not going to do that? I mean... Come on, Scryfall. Are you going to go? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dash, dash hopes. That's how I feel when I get counter spelled. For sure. Hopes are dashed. Yep. Okay, the next one, I have three more. Okay, okay. this one is a sorcery. It okay. says, <clears throat> target player discards two cards at random from his or her hand. Unless that player has this card, deal four damage to him or her. So, so wait, say that target again? Target player discards two, two cards, cards at random from their hand unless that player has this card deal four damage to them what is this card what, what the is name that of the card oh, oh okay so so they discard two cards unless they have the card we're talking about and deals and four damage to them deals four damage so how the fuck wait target, target player, player discards, discards two, two cards, cards at randoms unless that unless... player has four damage dealt to them Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, the fuck? I'm gonna say red? It's called Skull Scorch. Skull Scorch? Yes, all one word. That is a fucking weird-ass card. It's red. It <clears throat> is red. It's, it's worded really strangely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was like weirding you out that I couldn't say the name of the card. Yeah, because I'm lo I'm all like, oh shit. I <laughs> yeah. Because I was trying to think like, well, the sorcery is not a permanent, so how would it? <laughs> yeah. Like I was thinking like, do, if they discard this card, it then it de then it deals for or doesn't deal. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it's, weird. It's okay. It's weird. Either yeah. way, it's weird. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the next one is a sorcery. Okay. Um, it says, gain control of target creature on a po of an opponent's choice that he or she controls. Gain control of target creature of an opponent's choice yes. that they control. Yes. So I don't get the choice, you do. Is that is that the way it's worded? Mm, no. Wait, so... so I'm playing the card, and the uh, card I'm playing says, gain control of target creature... Of an opponent's choice that he or she controls, you have the choice. Yeah, so it to sounds give like me which creature. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like the opponent has the choice of. Correct. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I mean, red is the one that typically gains control of stuff, but I don't right. think it's red. That would be too obvious. I'm just gonna add a little blue. It's Evangelize, which is white. The fuck? That's a white card? Yeah, it has buyback. <clears throat> I didn't even say that part. That's weird, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. Is there How any... How old is that? 
Well, Time Spiral is, um... Oh, it was the first time spiral. Yeah, the first time spiral, and that's like what the mid two thousands or something, which now is old. Um, so is it getting reprinted? Probably not, or I don't, maybe I don't know. But um, the the question I have is: there any other game control cards li- like that in white of creatures? No idea. That is mm. weird. Yeah. I mean, it better be getting reprinted in Time Spiral. Apparently, it's remastered. not. Remastered. It's not. Oh, dang. Weird. Okay, and our last one. Okay. This one is an enchantment aura. Okay. It says, enchant creature. When this card enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. At the beginning of the upkeep of Enchanted Creature's controller, that player may pay four if he or she does untap the creature. Oh, damn. Okay, I was, oh, man. Um, <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. They're all so weird. My gut was telling me green. Okay. But now okay. I'm going to say black. Okay, it is Paralyze. Paralyze? Oh, it is black! Which is a black <laughs> card! You got it! Oh, nice! I totally guessed, because I, I... I, When I was going through green enchantments last night, there was a card very similar to this, except for the last part. Um, that oh. The, the, the pl- pay, player may pay four. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was something different. Um... Wow, that this is a really fun game. I really like this. I would I would not be able to like do that at all because I barely know what cards are supposed to do. Yeah. Um, but I mean it's obviously <coughs> supposed to be tricky. So Yeah, no, I, I liked it because it's you know, if you were doing cards of just the past couple years where the color pie is more defined, I feel like it'd be easier because Yeah. Oh yeah. Um but like the old cards they didn't know what the fucking color pie was, and there's still color pie bending stuff and Yeah, yeah. It's 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 weird. There's some weird stuff out there. There's some Oh yeah. I, really I like weird it. stuff out there. I, I, I wouldn't mind playing that game again and the the five second rule game. That was fun. Yes. That was that was really fun. Um so yeah. Um I think that I think that's that is... it tonight yeah that, that was a lot so that was a lot well, we did have some technical issues but we got through them i'm sorry everybody but um we're now at the end of the stream where we say goodbye kyoji goodbye, says he wants to make an announcement goodbye. goodbye okay while while we prepare to raid somebody that is fine yeah, let cool. us find somebody to I see Unicorn is on right now. <gasps> Unicorn Fluff is on. Oh, wait. How do I raid again? Oh, yeah. I got to go to the dashboard. <laughs> you got to go to the dashboard. <clears throat> Ooh, Kyoji got a call from work. He's going to be working again. Mm. Yay, because he's been on furlough, what do you say, like since last year or something? That's great, Kyoji. I'm very happy for you. Good. Yes, that's awesome. Um, oh yeah, how do I raid again? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Unicorn, we're gonna go raid Unicorn. Thank you everybody for coming by. Yes, have a great night, friends. We love you as always. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And bye. We will see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, I think it should be. We got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's, dang. It's so awkward rating, right? Yeah. It's like you're just sort of waiting.